The other thing that uh, has happened, banged up young receivers. So the receiving core is young. Browns want to get a feel for it. Bell, you, you hope that takes care of itself. He gets back on the field. Anthony Schwartz, sprained knee. And now, you know, Isaiah Weston, undrafted free agent that kind of looked like he had some skills and had some potentials. Now he, he goes down. Do you think that the Browns are starting to look more and more towards the veterans, or is it not that time just yet? Well, I think, yeah, they, I think they're always looking. Um, the David Bell situation, you really don't know. They said that they didn't expect it to be long term, as well as Anthony Schwartz. So um, they did sign Derek Dillon today, wide receiver, who went to LSU. And um, they, they let Weston go. And um, I wouldn't be surprised to bring that guy back. You know, I think there was a lot of optimism about a 6'4 uh, kid who was long and lanky and had some speed. Um, unfortunately, he was injured. That's the way the NFL goes now. You get waived if you get injured, and they could bring him back maybe and put him on injury reserve or something later. But I do think I, – I have heard they've talked to some or worked out some in the offseason, guys like Ken Stills. Um, who knows if they're at that point yet. They're really hoping that Bell and Schwartz can step up and play. So if I don't see them out there really quickly, then you would start to think that they're concerned. But right now, um, I think they're going to probably stand pat a little bit, see what this young guy had that they just signed today doing. Yeah, and, and to kind of illustrate your point, they're not even in pads yet, so they're still kind of ramping up. If you get into next week, week after, is that when you, you think it becomes more problematic? Because both Schwartz and Bell, young guys, you can't miss time early in camp. Yeah, we saw it with Schwartz last year. He got behind and never really caught up, and you hate to see that with Bell or him again. They need these reps. Um, but as you said, of all the guys that were on PUP, to be honest, I thought the last one to come off would be Jack Conklin, and he's comes off first. So I would expect, you know, if something doesn't break with Bell or Schwartz this week as far as getting back on the field, then maybe you start looking to bring in a veteran. I don't think they're in panic mode yet, but I do think that the numbers with the pads and that guys always come up with, you know, hamstrings or, or pulls, and, and so... If their numbers get any thinner, they're going to have to make some moves at that position for sure.